majesties welcome back to the channel thank you so much for always returning trust you and your star well and you are loving yourself and others like always many thanks to all of you for the support you give to the channel thank you so much to our channel members to our anonymous supporters to all of you my two subscribers you are loved celebrated and appreciated so uh, something happened in congo i believe a lot of you might be aware of it already that uh, there was an attempted coup to take out TCKD and should I say unfortunately or fortunately the one who orchestrated this coup was taken out he was he was taken out and um, a lot of people have mixed feelings about this coup so I just want to brush through uh, what really happened um, there are people that believe that um, this coup was orchestrated by TCKD himself because he is afraid and he asks for the help of the West to help him take out this man. And that's why this man is dead. Okay, because he's scared that um, there might be an opposition, there might be an uprising, because what he's supposed to do, he is not doing it. And there are lots of Congolese who feel like we have given Tisekedi the solution to the problem in the Congo. He was not supposed to go in for an election when there is problems like this in the congo he was supposed to have kicked out the foreign companies in the in the in the congo he was supposed to have settled the, the chaos in the congo before he even think about being re-elected as a president okay so this is what is going out there in the minds of a lot of congolese and i felt like it's better we do a little bit about uh these things because there are people who are happy that um the coup uh, didn't come didn't happen there are Congolese who feel like even if this one do not work, another one will work. That is to say, they are not happy with the government of Tisekedi. Mind you, this is a very man who spoke well during his election and later he was seen having fun with his enemy. He went back to the French government and went asking for aid. You were asking for aid when you have deposits of, of, of the greatest minerals that the world need. You are going to go ask france for aid so these are the things that our leaders do and sometimes you be like what is, is what is going on what is going on and there are people who feel like um it is the west that orchestrated this coup and of course because the the the, the son of the man that planned this whole thing was seen putting on a cloth with the u.s flag on it the person he worked with is someone who is perceived to be a u.s citizen now the reason why some people are happy is because they feel like it is the u.s that helped in orchestrating the coup and so when this man was taken out that's the best to see we have to be careful these people already know that africans don't like them both america and france they know that africa don't like them so they are going to do everything possible to get you confused yes what is happening in the congo is not good and that's why there are people who are agitating to take out the government. There are people who are agitating to take out the government. Okay? So they, what they want to push out there is that, oh, this coup was orchestrated by U.S. So they gave them opportunity to go ahead. See, our people always fall into the traps of these people. That's what I've seen. We always fall into the trap of Europe and America. We always fall into the trap of the French government. They are always a step ahead of us. Why is it so? Because we have leaders who don't think. So they have made this whole coup look like those, those people, the opposition party was used by the West and they were taken out. So people should be happy that, um, because they know that people are really agitating to kick out Europe and uh, to kick out um, French and America. So they made it look like, see, <laughs> we have a long way to go in this country. Because when you begin to listen to the way these people skin their things and exhibit it, you'll be like, there is no way out. Tisekedi don't want to leave and he's not doing what he have to do. It is the same people who put him there. They are the same ones who are doing this thing now so that you feel like he is the real one there. Congo is bleeding by day. In, you imagine you being in a country a day, 10 bombs will be thrown on you. This is the situation of Congo. And the world is not talking about it. Why? Because they are struggling to get what they want to get out of Congo. When I learned that about, I think more than 10 companies, cobalt mine in Congo are, are owned or is owned by Chinese. And some little percent are owned by the US. And I'm like, so which one now is the Congolese owning? Since foreign governments are the one owning cobalt uh, mines, which one do the, 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 the Congolese own? They have sold Congo out. 
they have sold Congo to the enemy. Your majesties, and this is what I keep saying, sometimes you be like, why are things the way they are? They are the way they are because the leaders have sold us all. Our leaders have sold us all and sold our bait right. This is how shameless our people are. Keep following the puppets up and down. Uh, what I'm saying here is not coming by surprise. We know it is going to happen anytime soon. There was a coup d'etat, a coup attempt in Democratic Republic of Congo a few hours ago. Uh, the coup plotters has attempted to overthrow the government of uh, Felix Chisekedi. Felix Chisekedi, we have given him some remedies to silence the guns in Democratic Republic of Congo. We said, Chisekedi, since you have gone to the elections in the midst of the war, which simply means that uh, what is so important for you is the elections. But for us, what is important is the peace and the development of Democratic Republic of Congo, the lives of our people. Here is the remit. Can you remove the Western military bases, the embassies, the consulates, the United Nations military bases stationed in the Democratic Republic of Congo, the Western companies that are stationed in Democratic Republic of Congo. We told Felix Chiseked to do that. And he went to UN General Assembly in 2023. If I'm not uh, mistaken, maybe it was in uh, um, September, October uh, 2023. He promised us there that he was going to do that before the end of the year, which was in December 2023, and he didn't do anything. Instead, he continues as a Western puppet. Democratic Republic of Congo is the heart of Africa. Hence, I always say there are three countries that must be free for the rest of the continent to be free, which is Nigeria, Democratic Republic of Congo, and South Africa. So it is not a surprise for us to see an attempt, a failed coup d'etat in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Next time it is not going to fail because uh, Felix Chisekedi is only thinking for himself. While well, at least we need to solve the problems, we know who causes the problems for us is the Westerners. Once you remove the Westerners, a country can be peaceful and will start developing. When we, we took our land in Zimbabwe, we left, we kept the embassy there. There are non-governmental organizations there. There are journalists there. Hence, Zimbabwe never developed. Hence, they are coming today as the saviors in Zimbabwe. The Westerners. The time has come of our time. The brave men who walked with me stood up and said enough with this road regime, a dictatorship, a regime that has sucked our blood. Well, let's get some reaction now to that story and cross to former Nigerian presidential aspirant Adamu Gaba II. Thanks very much for joining us on RT International. I just want to ask you very quickly, what's your reaction to what we've heard about that situation on Sunday in the Democratic Republic of Congo? It is unfortunate. I think um, Congo is a typical example of a country that is blessed with so much resources, yet is caused by that resources. And even from history, you know what happened during the King Leopold, you know, in, from Belgium, during the Berlin Conference, again, a lot of division. And when they had a very good leader like Patrice Lumumba, you know what happened to him? He was killed in a CIA-led operation. And subsequently, after several wars and inter crises they had Joseph Kabila, Lauren Kabila, that led the country, in fact, to some degree, even assisted in the complete exploitation, a kind of a neo-exploitation machine. And now you've seen, after we had Felix Chikedi, who is um, somewhat like a very strong-willed person, um, trying to renegotiate some terms in, in, the, in, in the interest of perhaps maybe trying to make sure that the people of Congo truly really benefit 
um, from the resources that they are coming that is coming from the ground, it is um, um, you've seen now there is one poorly executed, poorly planned queue that is coming from um, Christian Malanga. It is really rather very unfortunate, but it is not unexpected because you know that the whole world now is having a little bit of. Uh, uh, a, 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 an economic war about electronic vehicles. You've seen what happened between China and the United States. The U.S. is heavily putting sanction of Chinese EV vehicles, and the source of powering these EV vehicles is coming from Congo. 70% of cobalt, one of the core minerals that powers electronic vehicles and all other renewables, is actually coming from the Congo. So it is not unexpected that Congo will become a country of interest for some groups to try to wrest control from one another in order to share in the booty that is happening, uh, that, that, that is there available in the Congo. I, I just want to pick up on what you're talking about there, because we did hear from the military spokesperson that foreign fighters were involved in this attempted coup. Do you think that's related to what you were talking there about the cobalt mines in the Congo? Of course, it is not going to be unconnected, because um, Congo is one of the very interesting countries in, in Central Africa, because it is looking like the entire computing forces of the international system are there in the Congo, and some of the companies behind them are there in the Congo. And you have the even Congolese government have some companies, for instance, Ventura, which is led by Dan Gilbert, that is helping them to also, of course, organize their own interests around the mine operation that is happening. Of course, you know about Glencoe and their interests in the country. And so if you notice, there are a lot of um, sanctions and counter sanctions by the United States about some operations and some operative within the Congo, all in the interest of exploiting these resources. And again, if you go back to the key critical producing side, the um, KCC and the Motunga, these are the areas where you produce, through which you have several up to 19 different co um, co cobalt mines. It's a copper mine, you know, it's the byproduct of copper that becomes co cobalt. 15 of these companies are owned by Chinese private and Chinese government, out of 19. Only four is owned outside China. So you see the crisis. A situation whereby the United States is trying to slow down the Chinese development in the area of EV, naturally, you will find some interest group trying to come there to raise control so that they can um, maybe help in the process of imposing this sanction or benefiting from it. So yes, there could be foreign fighters, but based on what I have seen there, the foreign fighters um, are not more of friends of Christian Molunga, who himself have relocated to the United States since 2013 with his entire family, came back with his son and tried to organize this very poorly uh, designed coup that, in fact, to the best of my knowledge, they should know that this coup is not going anywhere. And that is why, based on the available reports, they are completely neutralized and the coup is over. OK, well, thank you very much for taking us through that. That's former Nigerian presidential aspirant Adamu Gaba II. Thank you for having me.